Welcome to the meadow. Three and a half years ago, we bought an old 70s house with the idea of fixing it up for our family of seven. My husband and I run an interior design firm in Great Falls, Virginia, just outside of Washington, DC, where we also rehab and flip houses. We've moved every couple of years as our family has grown, and I've used our homes as my design laboratories, exploring and honing my style, and also using our houses to showcase our design work for potential clients and the various product collections that I design. Each house we've lived in has been an invaluable learning opportunity for our family. As much as we loved the house we had been living in for five years, which was a long time for us, the moment we stepped foot into the meadow, we knew we had to go. It simply called to us. Pulling up, we're going on a Sunday date. We haven't been here in two weeks. I saw something. You saw something? I saw something. I yeah. tried not to look really. Okay, here we go, here we go. What did you see? Our roof? And it looks sick. It's so pretty. Isn't that awesome? Yes. It's like fairy tale. Okay, we need to go see. It's so pretty! Alright, I'm not turning around yet. Not turning around yet. We're gonna pour our drinks here. Okay. We're gonna remember this when we're, we're already old, but when we're really old. <laughs> Actually, I don't really feel old. 40 is the new awesome. Okay. Dave's giving me a nice Pinot Grigio and he's got some iced tea. And we got some ice from the old 7-Eleven. Yeah. Warm Santa Margarita for this hot day. All right, we're so excited because we've been gone for quite some time and we've been getting lots of questions, which means progress should be happening. So cheers, here we go. It's so pretty. It's such a little fairy tale cottage. Do you see this, babe? Yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, our wall is here. I'm losing my, okay, I'm losing my mind. Okay, I need to take this in. I'll be back. I feel like, I can't believe it. We're moving in here. That's so pretty. I never thought like, we always do this for everyone. Like it's very cool to get architectural stuff in our house. I'm like, I'm for clubs right now. <laughs> I'm really excited. Hey, come step up here. Our meadow going. It's all green, babe. It's not dead. This can really feed us. Oh, this can feed us and fit a big, huge dining table. It's here. It is hot. It feels like an archaeological dig right yeah, it now. It does. Yeah, our trees today. This is the East Terrace. I can't even picture it yet because we're so low. Because we're going to be like up there when we're in it. But I think it's going to feel really cool. I want to climb it. There's lights. Say so what? There's actual lights in the ceiling. Not our lights. Oh. But there are lights. Guys, I have to show you. So these are antique French cheese boards. And when I say that, what it is is they would kind of line these up like shelves and put cheese on here. So you can, if you see, there's a huge round, mm, and that's literally, that was brie. <laughs> literally cheese. You can see the cheese wheels are in these boards. And so we're using these cheese boards throughout the house on the ceilings in the family room and on our kitchen cabinets. Very, very excited. I might clean some of the cheese off in some places. Um, don't you dare. Don't you dare. But I'm very excited. I'm gonna smell them. I asked my guys, like, do they smell? It just more smells like wood. But I mean, there's that's definitely like cheese and good old mold in there. Anyway, I love cheese. My best friends and I call each other cheese as terms of endearment. So we're like, hello cheese. So it's only fitting that my house is made out of cords that were used to make cheese. 
Oh my gosh, they did it all. The sides the side. Oh, the sides are checked. Look at the sides. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. The curve worked. I was so worried about the curve. Here's amazing. Look at, and you've seen that they found, you saw this part before, but they had continued it. They found actual pieces that curved in some cases. I can't wait to rip the plastic off of this hat. Can we open these to see what it feels like to go out to our garden or no? Uh, no, they got, um, I know. Just let it look be. Look at that though. You're going to look out and see your veggies. Yeah, that's going to be see awesome. My veggies. going to watch the veggies. Can't wait. The cheese boards. I didn't even notice that. Did you notice oh, that? Oh yeah, of course. I didn't even notice that. I was looking at the stove. These are the cheese boards. Actually see where the cheese wheels were in some of the areas. If only I would want crusty cheese on my ceiling. Trying to picture what it's going to be like once the beams go over them, because right now they feel so short and choppy, but I, it's because we chopped them. Um, our kitchen cabinets are going to be out of cheese boards as well, which is very exciting for me. Built-ins are going here, which is why you're seeing a gap. This opening, we've seen before, but it was like, what, we saw it really quickly one night. I love how opened up that feels, don't you? It's awesome. No hearts yet. <gasps> Get the cross. Our cross is here. She go finish it the other day. And you can see the railing through it. You can actually see really well through it. So I thought it would be really pretty to do a cross on this wall. A little bit of our fake foot there. And I also love monasteries. And I wanted this place to have little aspects of like a little bit of monastic vibe here. So I thought that would be really cool up there. I love it, babe. I love the vent register. The vent's great, too. I know. So Come in cool. Oh my gosh, our shower. Our shower. Our shower. I, I like... Are you... Babe, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I am flipping out. They did such a beautiful job. It's insane. They, these guys are true artists. True artists. Babe, it's so pretty in here. I love it. Do you love it? Look, I love like, that piece is awesome. Like I just love how random it is. It's not even. They just did their thing. They made it amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in here. And like a little, little niche for shampoo or wine. And then the whole ceiling is going to be the stone, too. You guys want to come see? We have a barrel vault in here. Oh, my gosh, babe. This feels beautiful. And look, that is deep enough for me to put, like, stuff on there, too. Which is really pretty. I picture a little, like, soap dish or something. In so, uh, shower, lots of here, lots of here. This is my currently favorite thing in the house. What do you think? This is so awesome. Look at how pretty that is. Put it in. Tell me, is it there? Is it there? Oh my gosh, it's there. I can't even. Oh, the circle's there. Dave, did you see that? Yeah. When I. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this moon gate. Babe, this view is nuts. Look at this view. I can't handle it. It's so pretty. The outdoor shower is the perfect size, isn't it? We were yeah. worrying. It is perfect. Any now weird, this any big in. would be weird. Yeah. It's actually really sunny too. Right, right now it's oh, very yeah. sunny. That is so pretty with the tree there. Can you get over that? Can you handle it? That's so amazing. I can't handle it. Anything new in here? The bathroom. Okay. There's this tile, so that hasn't happened yet. Oh, dang, and it's brown. It looked purple before, but it's actually brown. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That with the copper is going to be so nice. This is Christian's bathroom. It's a nice bathroom. Lucky kid. He's never going to leave. <laughs> yes. Italian mama plan. All right, let's go into... <gasps> They're amazing. Can I pull this whole thing up and show you? Yeah, sure. Awesome, isn't it? You guys are gonna love it. 
So they do a good job? They did the perfect job. Right? Yeah, Carmichael construction is amazing. Look a little bit this. off, a little bit. I know, a little bigger. So we asked, these came actually as a herringbone. And then I asked the guys to to break apart the herringbone and, and slit it up and just use the pieces. And then we did smaller, I don't even know if you guys are interested in spacing, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I just told them to sort of eye it. So we went smaller in the rows and then separated each row with a bigger gap. And it's not perfect. There's no perfection here. And that is the perfection. Should we go check out the girl inside the house? I love that you can see the cross right here so well. Look at that, babe. It's pretty awesome. I love that. I love that you can see through it. That was inspired by a weird hole that was around here in the original house, you remember? And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool because the light came through in a beautiful way? Wouldn't it be cool if it was a cross and cast a little cross shadow? We'll see if that's gonna happen, I don't know. So this is our cross from this side, which I thought would be amazing. And then the kids, you know, they can kind of peek in and spy. Because we're doing such cool stuff downstairs as grown ups too. Right? You can see how beautiful that the drywall goes straight down to the wood. So the picture's really not cool. gonna be trimmed there. So it's a tiny, tiny reveal there. And then it's getting plastered. It's gonna be great. This room's getting wallpapered. As is this room. That's gonna be tricky with the wallpaper. Yeah. This is pretty. There's your tree again. There should be some tile in here. The broken tile, I think that's in. In the last episode, I showed the Carmichael construction team how I wanted to break the tiles in the girls' bathroom. My dad also thought it was insane. You're crazy. Why are you breaking them tiles? Look at it. They're crazy. Crazy. See if it worked. <gasps> it could not be more beautiful. They are amazing look they round they picked pieces that sort of arced that's Do you really see how cool. beautiful that is guys this is art look at this look how absolutely messed up it is in the best way look at that is this the prettiest tile you've seen in your life and then yeah and then we went clean in the middle which is perfect and so they perfectly arced off in here it's clean i'm losing my mind this is a true work of art. And we know the guys who did it, which is amazing, amazing craftsmen. I love this. Dave, how beautiful is this? Amazing. I love this situation. Could not love it more. I love it. It's prettier than I even imagined, and you know I rarely say that. How does it look from out there? Unbelievable. The moon gate looks insane. That's that perfect one. because an insane person lives here. We're gonna go have our date and we're very excited, yeah, right? Very excited. Very, very grateful. Thanks for coming along. Thank you. Having our date. There are some questions that we should ask each other that we'll enjoy watching when we're older. What was the best part of this whole house? It could be, it could be the process, it could be the house. I can't answer that. I'm blown away that we're moving into a house that we got to do all the ideas in. Usually those ideas go onto a board and a plan and we present them to clients and it's amazing when they say yes and I feel this amazing feeling. And lots of times, you know, just because of budget and reality or whatever, only a small percentage of the ideas get done. This was this really cool time where we said, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be good for our business to do it, to show what we can do. And so I feel it's really crazy to see these ideas actually, actually happening. And then I haven't even taken my brain to the fact that we get to live in it. What's your favorite part? <laughs> the doors. The doors, what doors? The, all of them. Like the windows. All of the, no, the doors, like the, the Hobbit door, the moon gate, the boys' closet, Narnia. Like, there's so many interesting the, doors. The transitions. Yeah. Every room. I like, forgot about them because I was really into them like a year ago. 
<gasps> the library, like everything. Yeah. Like going into rooms is like yeah. an experience each yeah. time. Yeah, I feel like a little bit mysterious or magical when you are going into a place, like a little reveal. You All got right. it. Up. Yay, okay, cool. That's fun. There's so many things to look at. It's funny, I'm saying the stuff our clients say to us that I never have said. It's really cool. Like, I feel like- You're the client this time. Yeah, I feel really grateful. I feel like I could, I could definitely cry. I feel happy. Right, I know we've been a while and it's fun. It's really fun to do this. What I know now, I would do it all again in a heartbeat. Take those fragile years, all your worry and tears, and put them on me. Oh, I must admit, when I think about how far we've come, it was worth the risk, cause it dug us a deeper love. Never in a million years did I think I'd get so lucky. Never in a million years. Did I think you'd be mine? And now I can't imagine a life without you And every song that I write about you Just thought you should know I'll never let you go Never in a million years oh, Never in a million years Honey, I've been thinking about We've come to be found in this moment Makes it easy to believe Must be more to you and me Something magic And I must admit that every morning I wake up Either I must be dreaming Or I must be lost in love Never in a million years Oh